it's in Dolka. Once again, the timing is superb. Well, this is the thing that worries me when we start talking about whether this is a good one-day pitch or not, because New Zealand certainly struggled on it. But now we've seen three shots in just the space of about 10 minutes, which suggests to me it's not a bad surface at all. That ball's come across nicely. It's not to the pitch at all. He's actually played it on the up. Minimum of follow-through once again, and it's raced away. Well, so far, so good for India. Over the top he goes. Well clear of any fieldsman. And it'll stagger its way to the boundary for four more. And Tendulkar has got the confidence to play that shot. It's through the line of the ball. And it pitches and rolls over the boundary mm. long on for four. It's a good shot from Tendolka. Good tactics too. Oh, beautifully played again. Won't get to the fence. Larson should get to it. But it'll be time for an easy three. Oh, no, he got... Larson didn't get to it. Three boundaries in the over. Well, once again, timing, you see, once you've got the ball rolling across the outfield, it's a quick outfield here at Eden Park. It's not going to stop in a hurry when you time it relatively well, and he's done that. Through the onside, another good shot from Tendulkar, and this keeps up, Grant. We're in for a short afternoon. Let's flip this away. Beautifully timed again. Four more. Well, an indication of how well he timed this is that it's only beaten Chris Pringle by about two yards. And that's how wide it was of him the whole way down there. He just launched himself to the right and it was gone past him. He had no chance. He's run round it, if anything. And Tendulka just shuffling across and helping it on its way. Well, a very lively start for India. Tendulka on 21 after 16 deliveries. And some lovely fours. Chris Pringle. Oh, Juddy J. Sorry, Tendulka. Continue the form, and away goes the ball for another four. Short, not all that short, but wide enough. And Tendulka looking to play with a, a semi straight bat and just clipping it in front of point for four. Oh, that's a lovely shot. He's timed that superbly. He just races straight out to the boundary for four. Yeah, well, currently they're just making mincemeat of this uh, chase. It's on his pads, but he got across and just clipped it off his thigh, the middle of the bat, and rather than just uh, glancing it down there, He's really hit it down there. So he's on to 29, Tendulka. 23 balls he's faced. Six balls. Crashes this one. Four more. Oh. This is a top shot. He stood up and hit this on the up, I think. And Rutherford's kept two slips in because he feels he's got to get wickets. But when shots are played like this, you look at this. Across and standing tall, even though he'd be a short man. But... Uh, he stood up there and just hammered it through mid off. Look at that. Well, pulling it. That's a good looking shot. And there's no need to run for that either. Well, it was just short of the length, and he got into a position where he was going to genuinely pull it with the uh, cross bat. It didn't bounce as high as he anticipated, and you'll see that. It's only on about a 45 degree angle, I think, is back from memory. Look at this. Yes, you see, it's <laughs> pulled from outside off stump. Didn't get all that big on him, but uh, he was able to... Oh, we can see Pringle there giving it the teapot as if to say, well, how did you whack it through there for four, mate? Oh, over the top it goes, and that's down the ground. Everyone stands and watches as it rolls over the boundary for four more. Well, it's a bit like anything Jadija, or should I say Tendolka can do, I can do just as well. And that's the end of the over at 55 without loss. It came in the end, 61 for none. Ten wickets in hand. It's what you could say is a reasonably comfortable position, Glenn. Does that require an answer? <laughs> No, just face the front and concentrate. Yeah. 
Slowish in the air. He's out. Well, Ken Rutherford, straightforward catch. Relief for the New Zealanders. Much slower one here from Pringle. Let's see, just lolly pops it up there. And uh, Juddy Jar just scooping it up to Rutherford at mid-off. And so India lose their first wicket in the 11th over at 61 for one. Thank you, John. Well, what a batting treat we've seen this afternoon. It really has been absolutely sensational. And Rutherford really does have his problems now. This is wonderful play. And look at that, just straight down the pitch, lofting at one bounce. Well, Bob Kunis, this man is a wonderful player and we're seeing the best of him today. Well, the game has certainly changed. Uh, look at this, he was on his way. I mean, Larson must have seen him coming. He had time to readjust, but he kept on coming and, and just went through with a shot. I can't believe how much power he's got when he hits the ball. I mean, he's small in stature. When he hits the ball, does it stay hit? So 47 from 32 balls, a strike rate of just under 147. So he's scoring about one and a half per ball, and the worm has just lost its way. It's completely lost its direction. Down he goes again, and this time Larson does take counteraction. And I think that's a very relieved smile from Gavin Larson. Yes, he had a little more time. Uh, Tendulkar came very early that time and uh, just allowed Larson to readjust. But, uh, he changed his line too. He tried to push the ball into the pads. That probably saved him. Well, he's hit that over mid-wicket for four, or just over square, really. It went much squarer than that. And that's his 50 for Sachin Tendulkar. And somebody's coming out into the field with a lovely uh, T-shirt delighted but 51 runs from 34 balls and there's 10 fours there and they've been wonderful shots all over the top he goes again this is high in the air and how far is that going it's up in the terraces got him in the sweepstakes so I think this is going quite well for me uh, but uh, what a tremendous shot of the look at the power that he hits the ball with that's a big hit out there Peter into the the terraces down there and look at the eyes they're pretty high aren't they because that was hit very high and when it comes down <laughs> Gavin Larson knows exactly how far it's gone and there's no fielders back there the bat looks pretty warm okay, doesn't it Jimmy, come on, fella. that's Adam Perori He's not getting many past the bat at the moment. Down it goes again over the wide run. Well, this is just magical. One bounce four. Tendoka is 61, and he's had 37 balls at 79 for one. And Tendoka decides to put it down to fine leg. Oh, that's absolutely magical batship. They pulled the player up from fine league to get him inside the circle so they could push another one out. And Tendonka obliges by putting the ball down there. Well, you know, I feel he's playing with the bowlers. He's enjoying that contest out there. He's just showing who the master is. Well, the last four was the one down there. And they pulled the fine leg up into the circle, pushed the man back there, because you can see that's getting a bit of a hammering too. And he just obliged by putting it down there. And he's going through the covers again, and that's another four. Well, where can this man hit them? He can hit them everywhere. Well, what a delight this has been. Tendulka is sensational. Well, what can you say, Peter? You've described it all. Well, where's Pringle going to bowl now? Where would you bowl, Bob? It's four again. I know Glenn Turner's got a plane to catch, but maybe Tendalka has too. Well, I said once again, uh, 
just watching that shot it tells a story on its own so Rutherford's come in to give some moral support to Pringle but it's Pringle who's got to bowl the ball 13 off the over already there's one ball left in the over Tendonkas hit the last three for four all around the ground where will this go there it goes straight over the line it's not hit too well this time so it'll bounce and it might give Tendonka the chance to come back for three oh it doesn't that'll be a relief for the bowler at the other end it's 94 for one Campbell's going through the gap between Slip and Gully and Pringle tries to but can't. Yes, we're seeing here that Danny got good bounce there, was just a little wide. Mind you, uh, Pringle committed himself too early down there. He, he should have fielded that ball. Yes, once it eluded him, it was always going to go for four. Look at the difference in the run rates. It's just academic now, isn't it? But it's wonderful academics. Calmly gets it passed again. That's a much more authoritative shot. And that brings up the 100 for India. And we're only in the 13th over. Now, Bob, the thing that I would like to see is that we can't do this, I know, but ask the Indians to carry on and see how many that have got. They're chasing only 142, so they're not going to have to go very much further. But it might be good to see these guys bat first one day. I think what you're really saying is, Peter, that you and I probably won't get another chance to commentate today. I think the that's same thing, absolutely isn't it? guaranteed. 102 for one at this stage, compared with New Zealand 21 for two. Calmly's going high. There's no player out there. There can't be anyway because it's over the boundary. Hart just a little guilty of giving that too much air. You had to, all you had to do was get it over that inner ring. So I thought that carried all the way. Uh, must have landed just inside the boundary. So Campbell's just about to run a ball now too. 16 from 17. Oh. And that ends the over. It's 109 for one and we've had 14 overs. Friday, the Yorker was very effective for De Morrison. He was able to produce three in a row to get that hat trick. This time he tried it again, but slightly over tossed. And today for Tendulka, slightly over tossed means at least four. All they can do is stand and watch. Tendulka has faced 43 balls for 79 runs tries again doesn't time it, he'll still get two though to race on to 81 and we are witnessing Smithy one of the great all time one day innings so Tendulka on the strike to Hart for the first time and I just wonder what's going through Hart's mind at the moment I wonder what's going through Tendulka's mind at the moment Hart conceded six hey, off his hey. first. Oh. <laughs> well, tried to lap it around and finished up going past the wicketkeeper. Well, normally he may have a first slip in there, Matthew Hart, but in this situation, first slip's been long forgotten, and that would have gone straight down his throat off the top edge. Pushes it back, and he's out. Well, it's a tame dismissal after a magnificent batting display. Sachin Tendulka is gone. Well, the crowd, the crowd rise to one man. Whether they're Indian supporters or New Zealand supporters, they're all getting to their feet for one of the great one-day innings you will ever see. Ended in a very tame fashion. Tendulka.